Shepard of a soul, of a soul, Savior of a soul, Lover of a soul. We are on the Lord's the glory. We give you all the honor. We give all adoration. We bless you because you alone are God. Thank you, my Lord, my Father, for your mercy that has brought us before your awesome presence this hour. Father, for it is not by might, it is not by power. It is not by our own doing, Lord Jesus. Father, Lord, it's only by your mercy. Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you. My Lord and my God, among the trillions of people on the face of the earth, Thank you, my Lord, my Father, for extending your invitation to us, for us to come to eat your broken body and to drink your precious blood. Father, we thank you for what you have been doing in our life. We thank you for the way you started with your children from Holy Ghost hour to 11 o'clock. And to this hour, you have called us to come and eat your broken body and drink your precious blood. Father, even as we have come this hour, Lord Jesus, Father, Lord, we unanimously ask, my Lord, my Father, in one mind, that, my Lord, my Father, you usher in your Holy Spirit into our midst. And take preeminence, Father Lord, that everything that we do this hour will go in accordance to your will and purpose in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father Lord, is there any power? Is there any man or woman? Lord? Jesus, Father Lord, every ungodly soul tie, anything, my Lord, my Father, that will militate against my Lord, my Father's communal service, Lord Jesus, in any form, my Lord, my Father, they will be connected with us, unknown to us, Lord Jesus. In order to frustrate, in order to hinder or to pollute, Father, my Father, what you're about to do, Father, Lord, we ask, my Lord, my Father, let your fire of Holy Ghost, my Lord, my Father, separate them from us this hour in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Father, Lord Jesus, Father, even as we have come this hour, Lord Jesus, Father, anything, my Lord, my Father, in any one of us, Lord Jesus, Father, Lord, that will make us, my Lord, my Father, unqualified, even when your mercy has qualified us. Any hand that is pointing to any soul here, Lord Jesus. Father, Lord, that this one is not qualified to be. When you, my Lord, my Father, said, Lord Jesus, whosoever is set free is free indeed. Therefore, Lord Jesus, any, uh, any accusing finger, Lord Jesus, lay that hand with her right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, Lord Jesus, here we have gathered, my Lord, my Father, Lord Jesus, Father, Lord, to eat and to drink what ordinarily we are not qualified. Father, Lord, but as your mercy are qualified, Lord Jesus, Father, Lord, give us the grace never to abuse, my Lord, my Father, your grace and mercy upon our life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I have myself before you, Lord Jesus. Father, King of all glory, I have no one of my own. I depend solely on you, Lord Jesus. Father, Lord, speak to me this hour and speak through me, my Lord, my Father. Father, Lord, let everything that we will do in this communion service, may it go in accordance to your will and purpose, that at the end, each and every soul, my Lord, my Father, we have every cause to glorify your holy and mighty name. Thank you, Abba, Father. Let's say be a holy and mighty name. For in Jesus Christ's holy name, we have all prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Children of Most High God, we are here again. Not because we have been fasting. But we're here because our Father, our Creator, our Redeemer, our Savior have deemed it fit for me and you to come before Him to partake in holy table, to eat His broken body, and to drink His precious blood. It is something that we know. Our own self righteousness, our own work cannot aid us, but it's because of His mercy and grace. And as we have come this hour, 
to partake anything in our life that will amount to the abuse of the privilege that we have had from our Father. Let those things be separated from us right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Any power whatsoever that wants to be reporting what we are doing right now in the kingdom of darkness, let that power be consumed by the fire and the anger of Almighty God in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So, beloved, as we have come this hour, it is always good and imperative for us to do what? To remind ourselves through the word of God what we are doing, what it stands in our life. We all know what the Bible said in the book of uh, Hebrews chapter 3 verse 13. So that none of us will be deceived by Satan, by the deceitfulness of sin to the hardened heart. So that is why this hour, the short word of exhortation that we have before we go to the table of Almighty God is titled, Once Condemned but Acquitted by the Blood of Jesus Christ. Once condemned, but acquitted by the blood of Jesus Christ. Beloved, me and you, we are once condemned, guilty as charged, but the blood of Jesus Christ came and stand in the gap as an atonement, as a sacrificial, sacrificial lamb. To be able to set me and you free from condemnation. So, beloved, I enjoin us to please open our Bible as we take a look to the Word of God in the book of Ephesians. We can look at the book of Ephesians, Ephesians chapter number two, Ephesians two, and I will take our reading from verse 11 to 19. Ephesians chapter two, 11 to 19. I read. He said, we are for, remember, and that's exactly what we are doing right now. We are remembering, we are remembering whom we were before the mercy of God discovered us. We were remembering the sufferings, the pains, the agony. He said, we are for, remember, that ye be in time past Gentiles in your flesh, who are called on circumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands. Verse 12. That at that time, ye we are without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel, and strangers from the confidence of the promise, having no hope and without God in the world. In other ways, sin have the ability to make somebody an alien. Somebody who's supposed to be a bona fide citizen. But when sin crept in, it turns one to be an alien and makes one to become what? Hopeless. Even in the midst of hope. That is what sin can do. And verse 13 said, But now, in Christ Jesus, ye who sometimes we are far off, are made near by the blood of Christ. But now, me and you, who we are sometimes far off, we are now made near by the blood of Jesus Christ. We are once condemned. We are once separated. We are once alienated from him. But his blood did what? Drew us near. His blood did what? Reconciled us. His blood did what? Reunite us back to God. Verse 14. For he is our peace, who had made both one, and had broken down the middle wall of petition between us. The middle wall of petition, that wall that separated me and you from him. Why? Because of sin. When Jesus Christ came, used his precious life to do what? To bring the world down, so that we can have access to the Father. Verse 15. Having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments contained in the ordinances, for to make himself of twain one new man, so making peace. Verse 16 
and that he might, that is the main purpose for him to lay down his life for me and you. A gesture that no one can ever work and no one can surpass. That he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross, having slain the enmity thereby. He agreed, not by compulsion, to use his own life, his own life, his own blood, to be an atonement. 17. And came and preached peace to you which we are far off, and to them that we are near. 18. For through him, through Jesus Christ, through his sufferings, through the shame, through the cross, we both have access by one spirit unto the Father. In other words, without him, there is no way we can do what have access to the Father. There is no way we can be able to stand before him. There is no way reconciliation is what is totally out of it if Jesus Christ had not stepped in the gap. 19, our last day because of time. And because of what he did, remember, once condemned, but what acquitted by the blood of Jesus Christ. Now the Bible has given us a background of the hopeless and the helpless life that me and you were before Jesus Christ now came in. And because of what he did, the Bible is now telling us in verse 19, he said, now, remember we were referred as, as alien when I started. But now, because of what he did, now therefore, there are no more strangers and foreigners. We are no more aliens. Our name has changed. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Yeah. This is through his blood that our name changed. People who we are called aliens, people who we are called strangers, people who are called foreigners. Say, now you are no more strangers and foreigners. But what? fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 This is why each time we gather, it is always good. Always good to refresh our memory. It is always good for us to go through the mirror of the word of God. Without which, without which, because human memories are very, very short. We are so myopic in our understanding. Before you know it, you will forget until it's one of those things. But when we go to the word of God, we'll be able to understand the, the, the privilege. We're able to understand the type of love we're talking about that Jesus Christ has for me and you. Beloved, without mention of ways, it is all of, almost, of utmost importance, like I said, for us to continually you know what? To remind ourselves the light in which God regards the precious blood of his only son, Jesus Christ. Each time we gather, each time we gather as we have gathered this hour, by his mercy, it is always good for us to remind ourselves the preciousness of the blood of Jesus Christ. The Bible made us understand in the book of Hebrews chapter 9 verse 20. Hebrews 9 20. He said, and almost all things, almost all things are by law. Purge with blood. Almost all things by law are done, are purged with blood. And without shedding of blood is no remission. Without shedding of blood, there is no remission of sins. If Jesus Christ had not come to be in the gap, to give him, himself as a sacrificial lamb, as an atonement, there is no way our sins can be what? Can be remitted. It's not possible. We should, we, we should have still carried that name of aliens, strangers, foreigners. But he came and stand in the gap so that our name can be changed. So that he can be able to do what? Present us before his father. Brethren, the reason of this, what we are doing is very, for us to remind ourselves, the reason is very, very critical, clear. Nobody can argue that because the Bible has made us understand to show us the state we were. Before Jesus Christ came in what in the picture. And book of Romans chapter 3, verse 23, also record the same thing. Where the Bible says, all have sinned. Pastors, all of us have 
we have that uh, we, we, we have that death. We have that mark of sin. All have sinned and do what? And come short of the glory of God. All have sinned. And that is why each and every soul that wants to see him on the last day, that truly recognize what Jesus Christ did for us on the cross of Calvary, you what? Yeah, the blood is what's necessary. The blood must because of that Adamic sin. All have sinned. In other words, nobody was exempted. If not because of the blood of Jesus Christ and come short of the glory of God. Which literally means that all men are sinners are what we are under sentence and condemnation of death. We are what? Under sentence and condemnation of death. Romans 5.12 He said, Wherefore as by one man Wherefore, as by one man, sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. Death now continued. It continued. Through one man, through Adam, sin entered. All of us have sinned and come short of his glory. But glory be to God that he has his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, who came to stand in the gap, Hebrew, uh, uh, sorry, Romans 6.23. He said, for the wages of sin is death. That's why I said, the casual of this, once condemned, but acquitted by the blood of Jesus Christ. If the blood of Jesus Christ have not acquitted us, it's just like when you stand before the judge in a law court. If the judge did not acquit you, whatever sentence he passed, you go on with it. It might be life sentence. It might be 50 years. It might be one year. But if he acquits you, you are free. So we are once condemned. We are once condemned. Because what? The reward, the benefits of what? Of sin is death. The benefit of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. God so much loved me and you. He knows that we are condemned. We have no other place than death. Then he sent his only son to come and give us what? Eternal life. Brethren, blood that we're about to eat or drink and his body, blood represents life. As we all know, blood represents life. In the book of Leviticus chapter 17 verse 11, Leviticus 17 11, he said, for the life of the flesh is in the blood. The life of all flesh is in the blood. And I have given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement for your souls. For it is the blood that maketh an atonement for your soul. The life of every flesh is in the blood. And without the shedding of the blood and the blood that let us understand, there is no remission of sins. So man as a sinner, we were under the penalty of death and cannot find, there is no way we can be exonerated. Nobody can set us free. No lawyer. No judge can ever set us free. There is no except truth, except through the shedding of the blood of Jesus Christ. It is only through his blood that me and you we were made free. Only through his blood, through the blood of Jesus Christ, that me and you we were set free. The Bible made us understand in the book of Hebrew, Hebrew chapter, um, I think Hebrew chapter 9, 28. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hebrew 9, if you go to uh, 28, it says, So Christ was once offered. Christ was once offered to bear the sins of many. And unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time with, without sin unto salvation. You see, he went ahead because he knows me and you, we are looking to that second coming so that we will watch up with him. So that's why he has given us the privilege for us to what to eat his broken body and to drink his broken blood so that we can be cleansed. So on that day, that when he comes, we will be qualified to be able to do what? To rapture with him. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. So beloved, that is the reason why the blood of Jesus Christ is God's own way of saving me and you. Saving us the sinner for the blood of Christ signifies the offering up of his life to God 
in death upon the cross as an atonement for sin. Jesus Christ himself said in the book of Matthew chapter 20 verse 28, he said, even as the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many. So he knew that this is what he was sent to. And the Bible said he was obedient to his father till death. Book of Philippians. He was sent to do what? To come to rescue me and you from death. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So beloved, even as we have come this hour, it is important for us to know that our reconciliation back to the Father wouldn't have been possible if not what? Through the blood of Jesus Christ. Our having access to him will be a mission impossible if Jesus Christ had not come. Our being redeemed it will be out of the question if Jesus Christ did not come. So that is why each time we gather, we need to do what? We, we, we renew our minds so that we can be able to do what? To appreciate. So we can be able to do what? To harness, to access those what? Those treasures that is hidden in the blood and the broken body of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Ephesians 1 7. He said, In whom we have religion through his blood for the forgiveness of sins. And if you go to first Peter again, first Peter chapter 2, verse 25, he said, For ye we are what are sheep going astray, but now returned unto the shepherd and bishop of your soul. Mm. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Sin can make somebody to go like a madman. No direction. We were like sheep, going astray. But now, because of the love that he has for me and you, he reconciled back to us. Because if we have continued in that trend, we will go like sheep. And where can a sheep end up? Is in hell. We know the movement of sheep. But Jesus Christ came. So that he, got, he can give us a sense of belonging. He can change our name. From being aliens, from being foreigners, from from us, and to become what to, to become a member of the household of God. Praise Master Jesus Christ. No, Hallelujah. So oh, that is yeah. why, as we have come this hour, I want us to open our mouth and talk to God. If we really understand what the blood signifies or stand in my life, in my life, I want us to open our mouth and ask God Almighty, say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, have I in the past, Lord Jesus, ancient of days, have I in the past abused this privilege? Like me and you, this is not the first time we're taking communion. Let's ask him, in any way that I have in the past abused, my Lord, my Father, this privilege that I give unto me. Father, today, oh Lord Jesus, as I partake, my Lord, my Father, in your holy table, as I drink your precious blood, as I eat your broken body, my Lord and my Father, Anything that is in me, that enemy in me, oh Lord Jesus, that is making me, oh Lord Jesus, not to keep unto my promise unto you to live a holy life. Those things that is making me to dance front and back. But oh Lord, today, let your precious blood smudge them away out of my life completely in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Open your hand ask God this hour. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, my Father and my God, Baba, I have come to dine at your table, Baba. Father, that enemy inside of me, Baba, that enemy, Baba, Father, Lord, Baba, inside of me, that is not making me, Baba, Father, to live a holy, a righteous life, a perfect life for God, Baba. Father, mercy upon my soul, Baba, and come and take them out of my life, oh God, Baba. Father, I cry out for your mercy, Baba. Have mercy upon my soul, Baba. Father, come and take them away, Baba, for me, Baba. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Father and my God, Baba. As I cry out the only day, Baba. Father, Lord, I pray, Baba, that every enemy, Baba, inside of me, Baba. Father, please, oh God, Baba, that is not making me, Baba. Father, to live a holy life, oh God, that to require of me, Baba. Father, don't tell me, Father. Amen. Amen. We are going to ask God this hour. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, as I partake in your holy table today, Father Lord, that character in me, that hobby, that behavior, 
that is making me, Madam, my father, to put your name to shame. Father, Lord, that is making you to cry over me. Father, Lord, please let your blood flush out of my life today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Open my eyes of this hour. Amen. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, my Father and my God, Baba, Father, Lord, as I come unto your holy name, Baba, Father, that character inside of me, Baba, that hobby inside of me, Baba, that lifestyle, Baba, inside of me, Baba, that is making me, Baba, to put your name to shame, that is making me, Baba, to make you cry, oh God, Baba, have mercy upon my soul, Baba, have mercy upon my soul, my soul, Baba. Father, let your blood, Baba, wash away, Baba. That character, that way, Baba. Father, that thing, Baba. That is always making me, Baba. Father, to put your name to shame, ah, Baba. Help me, Daddy. Help your daughter, be all in favor. Help your daughter, Baba, not to go to hell fire. That character in me, Baba. That is always making me, Baba, to make you cry. That I am sorry, Baba. I am sorry, Baba. Have mercy upon my soul, Baba. Have mercy upon my soul. Father, Lord, I pray for your mercy, Baba. Help me, Baba. Help me, Baba. Take away that Baba. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Beloved, there is absolute power in the blood of Jesus Christ. The Bible said, at the mention of the name of Jesus, every name shall bow, including sickness, including situations and circumstances. We're going to ask God Almighty. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father Lord, as I eat your broken body today, as I drink your precious blood, Father Lord, let your blood, let your broken body, let it flush away anything that's in my life that will make the enemy to ask me, that is my God. You know that situation, you know that circumstance, you know what you are passing through. I know my own. Ask God Almighty. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, that thing that will make enemy to ask me, that is my God. Father, Lord, let your blood, my Lord, Father, bring a transformation, Lord Jesus. Turn it to testimony in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hope you have God this hour. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, my Father and my God, Baba, Father, Lord, I shall cry out to your holy name, Baba. Father, Lord, Baba, that thing inside of me, Baba, that will make the enemy to ask that where is my God, Baba. Father, please, in your mercy, Baba, let your blood, Baba, wash away those things, Baba. Let your blood, Baba, wash away those things, oh God, Baba. Those things in my life. Oh God, Baba, that will make the enemy to ask that where is my God, oh God, Baba. As I come to so your presence, oh God, Baba. Let your blood, Baba, punch me, Baba. Let your blood, Baba, wash those things out of me, Baba. Let your blood, Baba, sanctify me, Baba. Let your blood, Baba, wash those things out from my head to my toe, Baba. That thing, Baba, that will make the enemy to start asking, Baba, that where is the God I serve, oh God, as you have come to your your presence, oh God, Baba. Have mercy upon my soul, Baba. Let your blood, Baba, set me free, Baba. Let your blood, Baba, set my children free, Baba. Baba, I have no power of my name. Amen. And lastly, let's pray this one. I'm going to pray this one concerning uh, uh, foundations. I'm going to use it to pray. There is power in the blood of Jesus Christ. I'm going to pray. Say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, every gate of idolatry opened by our ancestors to demote or capture my glory. I shut you down permanently today. Let the blood of Jesus Christ wipe you away out of my knowledge in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father, and my God, my Father, I pray that every door of my country, Baba, that the devil, Baba, Father, Lord, I've opened, Baba. Father, please, I shut that door, Baba. With the power and the blood of Jesus. I shut that door, Baba. With the power and the blood of Jesus. Every job, I don't let you, Baba. Father, Lord, Baba. For my ancestors have opened, Baba. Father, I shut that door with your blood, oh God, Baba. I shut that door with your blood, oh God. I shut that door with your blood, oh God, Baba. Let your blood, Baba, set my foundation free, Baba. Let your 
your blood baba put my foundation let your blood baba put my foundation in the mighty name of Jesus my father and my God baba every God of our journey baba that God that Asian gate of God that Asian door that Asian gate of God that they are above baba let your blood baba shut that door baba Amen. 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 Praise Master Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Beloved, are you out there? You have the grace to join us today, but you know you are not giving your life to Jesus Christ. All hope is not lost. It is not by accident that you are connected. Your soul is precious to your Creator. So you have this wonderful opportunity to give your life back unto him. So that his precious blood will acquit you from every accusation. So that his precious blood will blot away every ordinances that Satan is using to accuse your life. And remember, the Bible said in the book of John chapter 3 verse 3, he said, except a man be born again, he can never see the kingdom of God. Talkless of entering. So, the choice is yours, and I believe you will not allow this opportunity to pass you by. If you want to give your life back to Jesus Christ, please repeat this short prayer of confession and mercy after me. Say, Lord Jesus, having heard your words, I know you love me so much. I know no. that my soul that my soul is precious in your sight. It's precious in your sight. I know. I know. Satan is fighting. Satan is fighting tirelessly. Tirelessly. To get hold of my soul. To get hold of my soul. But glory to your holy name. The glory to your holy name. That you are giving the opportunity. That you are giving me the opportunity. To give my life back unto you. To give my life back unto you. I therefore, I therefore humbly ask you, humbly ask you to come into my life. To come into my life. To be my Lord and personal savior. To be my Lord and personal savior. Forgive me all my sins. Forgive me all my sins. And wash me with your precious blood. And wash me with your precious blood. As I accept you today. As I accept you today. Into my life. Into my life. I remember. I remember that your word said. That your word said in the book of Second Corinthians. In the book of Second Corinthians, chapter five, verse seventeen. Chapter five, verse seventeen. But if any man be in Christ, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. He's a new creature. All things are passed away. All things are passed away. And all things have become new. And all things have become new. According to your word, O oh Lord Jesus. According to your word, Lord Jesus. Let all things. Let all things. All character. All character. All behavior. All behavior. All disobedience. All disobedience. All worldliness. All worldliness. That I have lived in the past. That I have lived in the past. But I will let it be a thing of the past from today. Let everything be in the past today. As I commune with you today. As I commune with you today. Let everything be made new in my life. Let everything and let your mercy and let your mercy cancel my name, cancel my name from the book of death. The book of death. And let your mercy now let your mercy transform my name, transform my name into the book of life. Into the book of life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for this wonderful privilege. For this wonderful privilege. Thank you, my Lord, my God. Thank you, my Father, my God, for hearing my prayer of mercy. For hearing my prayer of mercy. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. 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 Beloved, as many have used the opportunity to return back to their creator, I want to tell you, brother, sister, that heaven is right now rejoicing over the decision Amen. that you have made. That's what the best decision you have ever made in your life. As Amen. heaven is rejoicing, we're in this mountain, we celebrate with you, and we pray Amen. that God Almighty. As we die with him, he will reconcile us back to himself. And no power Amen. of the enemy, no power of sin, can ever separate us from him again. 
and to be all of us will be able to see him on the last day in glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, Father, as many, oh Lord Jesus, Father Lord, that I have this opportunity, Lord Jesus, as to accept you into their life as their Lord and personal Savior, as many that have sincerely confessed and forsake their sins, Father, in your infinite mercy, Father Lord, embrace them, my Lord, my Father, in your fault, Lord Jesus, Father Lord, Amen. uphold them with their righteous hand, my Lord, my Father, because Amen. they have lost the battle of this one, my Lord, my Father, Father Amen. Lord, I with you today, Lord Jesus, Father Lord, they receive the grace, my Lord, my Father, they receive, my Lord, my Father, and the Lord, the strength and the power, never to turn back, my Lord, my Father, Never to return back to Egypt, Lord Jesus. Father, Lord, their blood, their broken body will always energize them, my Lord, my Father. We always Amen. make them victorious in every circumstance of life, Lord Jesus. Father, I will thank you, my Lord, my Father. We all, oh Lord Jesus, Father, Lord, that you are brought out of darkness to your marvelous light. Father, Lord, as we eat with you today, Lord Jesus. Father, Lord, let our strength be renewed, oh Lord Jesus. Let your Amen. Amen. Stay up, my Lord, my Father, your hunger and your thirst in us, Lord Jesus. As we continue Amen. But at the end, my Lord, my Father, each and every soul in this mountain will be able to see you on the last day in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Blessed be your mighty name. For in Jesus Christ's holy name, we have all prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah.